choose your topic. That is not as easy as just choose your topic for most of us. Some of you probably have your own, have your topic already. It's like, I know my topic. Uh, but if you're not sure what your topic should be, here are a few questions to ask yourself. Number one, what part of your business do you do really well? Not necessarily the overall part, but is there a part of your business, like you are really good at the marketing, you are really good at the bookkeeping, you are really good at customer service. Is there something there that you're really good at that might be a really good topic to teach your audience? Number two, what comes really easily to you? that doesn't come so easily to most other people. It's so easy that you think, oh, this is too easy, it's not valuable because it's easy. But many other people are like, well, that's why I need you because I don't know how to do that. There are, so, I mean, every one of us has that and every one of us thinks it's not so valuable because it's so easy to us. Like, oh, that's just too, e like, don't, like, that's easy. Why would anyone pay me for that? because it's not easy to everyone else, right? So what is that thing that comes so easily to you? And if you don't think it's valuable, ask lots of other people. Do you think that this is valuable? If it's something that's easy to everyone, maybe not as valuable, but we all have that something that's, that's unique to us, that's easy to us. Number three, what part of your work is the most fun for you? Number four, what are the most common questions that your customers or clients ask you? This is very powerful and can be extremely valuable. Questions that come up over and over again that you should have an ebook about instead of having to answer the same questions and tell it, uh, the same story over and over, turn that into a book. The next time someone asks you, sell them your book or give it as a, a present to them um, because it's a, an ebook is a wonderful lead magnet to your higher level services um last question what advice does your family do your family and friends come to you for what is the advice that oh we need to i need to go to jill for that like jill's the one who you go to when you need help with blank what is that for you so think about that and then you have chosen your topic. Even if you don't have your topic yet, sit down for 10, 15 minutes, brainstorm, um, think of ideas, ask your friends and family, talk to your clients and come up with a topic. 